Hi, Aries. Happy Halloween. All right, let's get started. This read is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. For yes, October 2024. All right, let's get a past life oracle to see what thread of karma is being dealt maybe in this life. Wow, wisdom. Unicorns, right? The wisdom of the ages, for sure. What we have learned and what we're learning in this lifetime, maybe we are remembering getting, getting back some of our wisdom from another lifetime. Some of you love unicorns, horses, of course, horses, ponies. Um, unicorns are all about freedom and strength. The grace, the grace of wisdom is playing a huge role. Let me try and, I want to move one of my candles here so we could, there we go. All right, green candle for healing. You can't see that it's green, but it is. Okay, so let's put the wisdom card up on top here and get started with your read. Let's see what's happening. Aries. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, it's like, do I stay, do I go? What do I do? Am I moving too quick or am I, should I slow down? Oh my God, oh my God, three nights. Oh my God, three nights. So Aries, you could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius right? The three nights. Three nights. What is that movie? Hold on. I want to do it over here. What's that movie? Oh my gosh. I love that movie. The vampire movie. Thirty days of night. That's it. Oh my God. I have to admit that movie scared scared the crap out of me of course then when i revisited it another year right it was like oh okay got it you know it was the vampire the first time the vampires came out and you know their energy was quick and it's kind of like quick energy fast energy and then we have the slow moving night right so what really I like about this actually is that you're in the center here so somewhat center of attraction whereby you know do we stay or do we go and that's where you're what you're up against in terms of a decision after this volcanic eruption of whatever went down this last you know these last few months right? It's like whatever went down, whatever happened, now I have to decide what's the best course of action for me. It, do I stay? Do I go? Do I move? What do I do, right? So you may in October be in this place of, okay, what do I do? Do I cut my losses? Do I cut my losses? Do I leave a job and go somewhere else, a different location? Okay, let's keep this in mind right now. I'm going to put it right here. You can kind of see it, but I do want to pull some cards here. In terms of what we're going to decide, I mean, there could be there could be information coming in that's quick where if you are looking into other areas or other jobs, I feel it's location, like other locations. Like, do I, do I just take that leap of faith and move? 
you know, what is it you want to do? Things were, things financially could have been really slow. So it might have been, it might be, it might be best to cut your losses and then just, you know, and move on, right? And take, take the, you know, make the decision and take that leap of faith. This is a 10. It's going to set you free. It's going to give you peace. You know, it's like emotional, emotional upset because of maybe a boss, a fight with a boss. Look at, you might look at, you're telling me right here. Hold on, hold on. I'm just keep picking here. This could have been a fight with a boss. Could have been a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. It's like it ended, you walked out, you stormed out, they kicked you out. I don't know. But now it's like, well, and interesting enough, look, the Knight of Cups comes in last. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to build on this. The Knight of Cups, the world. So whatever already happened, this already happened. They don't want me to do that. I don't have enough room also. So this knight says, wow, I really loved my job. I didn't want it to end. I thought we had a good connection with this boss, but then they, they either sold me out, they called me out on something, maybe inventory, maybe um, uh, closing the books, doing the books, something didn't mesh correctly, Someone accused you perhaps because this is an accusation. This is like a huge fight accusing someone maybe of, you know, taking money. And your, your whole, I'm serious, some of you that this, that this applies to, you're really cutting your losses and saying, I'm out. I don't really know if you're going to hear you may in October hear something coming in about this person. Maybe something has, you know, gone on. Maybe their business closed. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they're expanding. Maybe uh, we'll see. Let's see what's happening. So we know that the other night is in this, in, in a part of, what you loved about your job. You loved the independence. You loved being able to make the decisions. This, this boss gave you that authority, if you will, right? Okay, but now look it, see? Someone said, you stole money from me and they judged you, yep. You took money, you didn't have the right to do it. You, look at the fires behind them. You might, Aries, have been trying to put out the fire all along, but they, someone accused you of wrongdoing. All right, we'll go on. I'll go further in there, uh, but I want three more cards. So, you know, you decided, some of you, I'm going to tell you, you, some of you decided to start working with Uber, Lyft, whatever, to subsidize some of your income, the loss of income that you have had to endure. Some of you, maybe a car broke down, so you had to put money in your car, all right? Some of you, things have needed. Spirit had to show you the truth so that you would be able to move on. But the moving on part has been and is the hard part of what has already, like, what happened, what's happened. This could be a difference of opinion, right? It's like we just don't see eye to eye. Okay. This could be, well, a relationship ended. Someone got the boot. Someone got kicked out. There was not going to be, or Aries, you and or someone else 
had no intentions of a full-term, long-lasting relationship, so you cut your losses and left, and or they left. And you already knew this was gonna, this was already planned. You already knew it. And if it hasn't happened yet, it's happening in this next upcoming eclipse, the last one in October. Someone is, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that is being eclipsed out or has already been eclipsed out, but it's a finality, especially when you see the eclipse, right? It's absolutely one and done, one and done for sure, okay? So there's no coming back to have a conversation. It is over. We learned a lot, did we not? Did we, or did we not? You know what I mean? I feel that some of you just decided, maybe I need, I need a whole new location. I need to start looking around for a new place to live. I don't wanna be really subjected to I'm hearing a certain area. Where this boss is still like in your headspace. It's like, okay, so some of you when you're driving, right, you're really overthinking. Sorry for the glare, but I, I, I love the candlelit for Halloween. And I love the candlelit period. But you know what I mean? So some of you, maybe you saw someone, maybe you saw this boss driving by or you drive by their work, their place of business. You could be driving around their, the place where they are, they're the boss. This is a boss, right? We're gonna get into this because this really happened. It already happened, like in July, or maybe it happened in January. I don't know, but you're still reeling it in and it's like the manifestation issues of I can't make this work became very real. So just because, seriously, just because this huge upset happened, it kind of like everything went haywire. Everything's gone haywire. Now, some of you, I just saw, I just saw someone playing with wires or there's, there's a bunch of wires, like a ball of wires and you can't un, undo them. Maybe you're trying to decorate for Halloween or doing something with lights, but, or it's your power um, cords, etc. I see someone trying to trying to unravel. So some of you are trying to unravel what's been done to you, right? Maybe overthinking while you're driving in your car, you're sitting there like, I can't believe this happened. I can't believe they said what they said. I can't believe they cut me out of their life. I can't believe they left. Oh my gosh, Aries, I'm so sorry. Some of you, no, not all, relationship-wise, have been cut out of a relationship or a partnership in work, business, okay? Or both, because they're here. And you're in the middle, saying, now what? Should I stay or should I go? What do I do? All right? If it's not that, then some of you work at like a 300 mile distance from your person, right? So you come and go, you know, uh, you're doing like a special job for someone and it's at a distance. Your job requires you to be there. So some of you leave the home and then come back on the weekends or something like that. Okay, so now let's dive into the Seven of Swords because this already happened. 
words for the majority of you, this is for sure, a breakup of a partnership in business and in love. Seven of Swords, Soul, Six of Cups. This was a fake soulmate. Listen to me. This was a fake soulmate. Someone thought they were dealing with the real deal. The Empress. Some of you dealing with a Libra, perhaps, or a Taurus, or a Gemini Libra. Well, we said Gemini Libra Aquarius over here. Okay. There could be, right? You could be in the limelight or in the limelight, meaning maybe you, you are a single mom and you, your job is to be out there in the public, with the public, working with the public. Some of you might be realtors, realtors, okay? And you deal with a lot of people. And this person could be involved in either you hearing something about them or they lied. They lied to save face. I just heard that. They lied to save face because they're already with an empress. Could be. If not, you're a single mom and someone could have just appeased you and appeased you and allowed you to believe or gave you the reason to believe that a union of forever was going to happen. And quite frankly, it was, it was a sham. It was a sham. So someone really confused you or you them with regard to a commitment, with regard to does this person, maybe you asked God for help. Is this person like for real, my person, right? And then when, you know, when you prayed, God said, no, here's your sign. So Aries, a sign happened. And that sign was that someone got kicked out, kicked to the curb in business and or love or both. And that's a really harsh reality of take a look at the last, let's just say, take a look at the last year. What's been going on? What have you had to deal with here? And then God spoke and said, this person is not your person. That's already happened. This has already happened. I'm just pulling them out here so you could see them. But this already happened. And now you, you are needing to heal. So it's kind of like you went into one set of circumstances that really was the bomb and not in a good way. You bombed, you, you hit rock bottom, so to speak, in a business sense with a partner in business. They called you out on something or someone called you out. And then you tried to move on into a relationship, if you will, commitment, only to, only to think that you were over, uh, you know, another situation that didn't, didn't really, um, it wasn't about love, but it, it was a, a healing of the partnership that you did with, right? I just heard the boy that cried wolf because I heard the wolf, right? So I feel someone really confused you into believing that forever was going to happen. And it was just, they were appeasing you. So you went from one situation that really hurt to another situation that really hurt. And your reality of walking away from the people, places, and things. And that last part of that three of swords is like, I need to take 
myself completely out of this in terms of maybe uh, geographical taking out, um, definitely uh, maybe moving for some of you and or a mental, the mental, the mental part of this. So it became way too ment mentally draining, exhausting. I almost lost my voice. I don't want to talk to anyone about it, quite frankly. And I definitely don't want people judging me for what has happened and maybe people don't know what happened. So you are exhausted. I'm gonna pull these on this out here. This is like, there's nine, nine um, wands, right? But we have the 10 here, okay? So you're needing this month to get through, to get through this emotional upset, potentially with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn boss who thought he was a, this, what is it, this, that, and a bag of chips. Seriously. And you're telling me that this had, this facade had to end, even though, and then, you know, you jumped into, you jumped, wait, into a relationship that you weren't feeling 100% with, with an empress. Or it's you are the empress. You jumped into a relationship hoping that you could get back some sort of normalcy, right? Someone who's a nine of pentacles, a single mom right here. You jumped in to, right, from one fire into the next. And it's not like you wanted to talk about what happened with the boss. So you you didn't. You did probably maybe discussed the, the situation where you lost money. Maybe this boss wasn't paying you or they said you stole money, which we talked about. So now... Here's Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So this doesn't necessarily feel like, this feels like someone who's emotionally just not there. If you have Cancer Pisces Scorpio in your chart, then you're emotionally totally detaching yourself from, look at this, from something. And, and you could still be, I'm telling you, I feel like you're, you're emotionally somewhere else. Emotionally somewhere else. And you thought you you were okay. Maybe an ex was a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I feel like you had, okay, this is what they're saying. I'm sorry, Aries. If you do have Cancer Pisces Scorpio in your chart, I feel like it was a... It was like switching the light on, the flip of the switch. Whatever caused you pain, you would emotionally detach. Whatever, if a conversation came up and you didn't want to talk about it, then it became an issue and you would emotionally detach. So you were in it, but not fully in it. So kind of a, kind of dealing with a, you know, um, Mood swings, dealing with someone with mood swings or bipolar, potentially. And looking really back at, yeah, what has gone wrong. Some of you, some of you Aries were already in a commitment, maybe, you know, an ex-daddy or whatever, and your fear of getting emotionally into another real serious relationship is really something you didn't want anyone to know that you were really fearful of getting involved again or getting remarried getting back into a real <laughs> they're saying rut i don't think you were ready 
I think you jumped from in in you jumped out of the fire into the frying pan. Mhm. Mm and you know this person might have truly been the one. Right? I'm telling you. I am telling you. There are mood swings that Aries, either you or this other person or the boss or all encompassing of the storyline, meaning the thread of being hurt over and over again and trying to find love again isn't that you didn't want it and that you weren't waiting for it. But every time you got into it, it became, it became a burdensome release of, I gotta go. Even though I really love this person. I can't stay where, I, I feel like someone's thinking I can't stay in this because I'm just not emotionally available. I'm so sorry, but Someone showed their true colors here. And a repeat, I'm gonna tell you, a repeat of this beast of burden has resurfaced from a long time ago. Maybe you were married like seven years ago or it, you know, someone, someone is a widower and the issues that have occurred in both business and love have been a contention of every person, place, and or thing that you once left and or let go. Or they did. That's a big story. So it is best right now, Aries, to be in your own space for sure. And to find yourself once again. To, to realign this next few months, or at least from this month forward, right? Realign yourself and look at what it is that really, that it is you really want. And if maybe just realigning to become emotionally again available because you've been through it. You know what I mean? You could have worked with this person that you fell in love with for sure, but for some it's a separate thing. For others, it's the same. Perspective, we did see did we not? We saw the hangman. I also feel that that hangman depicted, oh, look at, there's death. So, I feel that this, this issue really is now for you to, to change your perspective about how you um, assess relationships of all types. Where are your emotions in all of these particular relationships, partnerships, and work, even ones with your family? Where does the thread of changing your perspective and really going deep within your own consciousness to, to really regain this this love for yourself again because with every part of you that has been dissembled we need to thread that all through love again of self got it okay i love you guys you know it i love all the signs find the wisdom within to reevaluate what really means 
what really mean what love really means to you sacred love right the people we've really lost but it is the saying is true it is better to have loved and lost than to have never loved before all right i love you guys take care have a great month